Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to get the results from a get request and uh, display that inside the recycler view. So basically we're going to continue uh, with the same project from the previous two videos in this uh, retrofit tutorial series and uh, that project will be available for you to download in the video description so don't worry. And here inside our activity main layout we just want to add uh, a recycler view. Okay, so just uh, add that. Alright, so let's connect those uh, horizontal and vertical constraints as well. Okay, and let's add the ID for our recycler view as well. Okay, so uh, from our main activity we're going to remove uh, basically everything from here except uh, this uh, repository and uh, view model and view model factory from above. Okay, so the next thing uh, we need to create a new layout for our recycler view uh, row. So let's name this uh, layout uh, row layout and uh, our layout will basically have only four uh, text views for each uh, one of those uh, inside our post uh, uh, model class. So let's add this uh, text view here and let's connect the constraints to uh, top and left. Let's set the uh, margins to 30 on the left and top for now. Now let's add the second text view. So basically our uh, row will have uh, four different uh, uh, text views and uh, this is just a basic uh, layout. So, so uh, it's simple as that. Okay. So the next thing uh, I want to uh, add, uh, I want to open this XML and I want to add a padding uh, to top and bottom to our uh, root constraint layout to 26 dp. Okay, and uh, now I want to set the height uh, to wrap content and uh, I want to remove this uh, margin on the top and the right, on top and the left to our text view or uh, only on the top. And uh, here uh, we need to change the IDs for those uh, text views. So. Uh, the first text view will be uh, will have the ID of user ID txt, and the second one will have the ID of uh, ID txt. The third one title txt, and the fourth one uh, will have the ID of uh, body txt. Okay, so uh, as simple as that. So uh, the next thing uh, we need to create a recycler view adapter. So uh, let's uh, create a new class uh, for that. But first, let's create a new package named the adapter, and inside this adapter, let's create a new Kotlin class with the name of uh, my adapter. Alright, so uh, here I'm going to use a live template which I have already created for a recycle view adapter and uh, if you are not familiar with uh, live templates then uh, I suggest you to watch my video about that and uh, learn more about how to create uh, different kind of uh, live templates for, uh, for your projects. So as you can see I am uh, just uh, one click away from importing the whole uh, recycler view with this uh, live template so it's a very useful uh, thing. And uh, here I'm going to just change this uh, layout to row layout and uh, now I need to create um, uh, one variable on the top which will hold our uh, list of posts. So here I'm going to name this uh, variable my list and uh, it will be actually an empty list at the beginning with a type of a post. Okay. So uh, next inside our get item count I need to return the size of this list. And inside our on bind view holder I need to use this uh, holder to get the reference of uh, views from our row layout. So the first uh, uh, text, uh, text view is uh, user ID txt and I'm going to set the text uh, to that uh, text view, uh, text view uh, dynamically from our uh, position. So just do the same as uh, I did. So here I just uh, need to replace this ID. Okay and that's it. All right. So uh, down below I need to uh, create a new function named the set data and this uh, function will have uh, only one parameter a uh, list of uh, post okay and uh, this uh, set data function will be called from our main activity uh, whenever uh, our live data changes so you will see and just call this notify data set changed for now so we can update our recycle view and uh, here inside our main activity we're going to basically observe the live data and as you can see we're going to use this uh, get custom posts uh, function from our uh, main activity and uh, when you open this uh, view model you can see this uh, live mutable live data object named uh, my custom post and we're going to use that so let's first call this uh, function from our uh, main view model uh, get custom posts and here i'm going to just uh, hard code the values so for the user id i'm going to set the number two for example for a sort parameter or a query i want to set the id and for the order i'm going to set the descending order okay so here i'm going to uh, call this my custom posts mutable live data as you can see that's the same uh, mutable live data and I'm going to observe the values 
and whenever the data changes on this uh, live data object we're going to get notified and we want to set the data to our uh, recycler view adapter okay so here let's first uh, lazily initialize our uh, uh, recycler view adapter and uh, down below we're going to create a new function named the setup recycler view where uh, we're going to set up our recycler view so just uh, set the adapter first and uh, next set the uh, layout manager to linear layout manager okay and just call this function uh, inside our own create uh, method okay and inside this uh, observer uh, we want to basically call our um, set data function from our uh, recycler view adapter but first uh, we need to get this response and we need to check if this response uh, is successful and only if uh, this response is successful then we want to set the data okay and just pass this response dot body as a parameter because that's the the actual um, list of posts okay all right and uh, in else block i could just uh, display a simple toast message saying uh, something like response.code and it will display the error code okay and now uh, everything should uh, work perfectly fine so let's run our application and let's see uh, how will that look and as you can see we can see the list of our posts so uh, we have set the id of number two and we can see our result in the descending order so as you can see the last number is number uh, 11 and uh, it works perfectly fine so let's change this uh, user id parameter to number five for example and you will see just uh, different numbers but still it will be in the descending order from number 50 to number 41 i think so there it is so uh, that will be all for this video now you have learned how to uh, send a get request and uh, display that result inside our recycler view and in the next few videos we're going to explore uh, furthermore our uh, retrofit uh, library